So what I showed up to now was this easy and quick way to fix or get a good starting point for of the spectral balance for a track. But SmartEQ2, uh, SmartEQ3 can do one more thing and, and quite a lot of people, even people who who own the plugin don't know about that. And that's why I want to speak about that because it's personally, I think it's one of the greatest features SmartEQ2 uh, has. And this is the group mode. As you've seen, the plugin in this case, listen to the vocal track and fix the balance for the vocals. But if you look at EQing, for any kind of mixing, it's relevant what's going on on other channels, but specifically for EQing, it's extremely relevant to know what's going on on other channels to have a kind of function of the, of the track that you're working on. So in terms of, you know, there is a, a term called spectral mixing. And I think most of you know about that, that if you have a, some, a couple of instruments, a couple of sources, you try to make space in the spectrum, in the frequency space for the different sources. And every source needs a different space, like vocals have their place and guitar has their place and the bass has its place and so on. Um, and if SmartEQ is just sitting on one channel, it cannot know about space that other instruments may need. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why we introduced group mode in SmartEQ3. So what you can do, or as you can see here, just go down there, there is a SmartEQ um, instance loaded on all the, like the tracks and the, and the buses that we are uh, trying to mix. And um, if I now click join group, there exists already a group. So I already created a group. So I, I, I joined this. And what you can see here is that, um, that all the instances I have in the, in the other channels are available in this group view. Um, so every instance of SmartEQ in this project will be available here in the uh, at instance field, and they will automatically start to communicate among each other. Um, the nice thing that you can do here is that you have uh, three different layers, and these layers define more or less the priority of the different tracks. So for example, the main vocals could be or should be always in front. Then there is kind of the support in level two, which could be the guitars and probably let's pull in the drums too, um, the backing vocals, and then the bass and the drums sit in the back, whatever. Th this is kind of up to the personal taste of, um, uh, of the mixing engineer. And uh, what the, the group impact does is it constantly looks at the signals in every channel and adapts the filters accordingly. So it looks at overlay, like for example, the main vocal needs space in a certain frequency region. And uh, as you can see, if, if I change the group impact, which is kind of how much impact does this group mode have on the filter that's computed. If I increase that, you can see that, for example, the main vocals need some space here. So the guitars and the drums are oh, pulled it's, it's out there. It's actually updating in real time as well. Exactly. So Even, so even without uh, audio passing through it. Exactly, because this is, it has the observation, like that's the observation that the, that the, the plugin had. Um, and uh, I can, the impact is sometimes quite subtle, but I can show you, for example, what's happening if I move the, um, the main vocals to the back and the, back, the backing vocals to the front to give you a feeling of, of what's happening if, if this group mode is active. Nice. With a, with a huge impact. Find an I just... So. Finding our way out No more empty rooms Finding our way out No more empty rooms Finding our way out Amazing No more empty rooms So suddenly the backing vocals are kind of in front and the main vocals are in the back and That's just done by spectral, by spectral mixing I mean, you won't do that because in this case the main vocals give a lot of space to, of to things in, 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 in the upper layers But this is a fantastic and great way to get a nicely balanced mix without having to deal with uh, level sliders or with kind of dependent EQs on different windows and so on. Um, and it's so funny because this, is, this feature is so great <laughs> and some people just don't know about it. Um, and that's why I want to kind of tell everyone on this, on this stream, if you ever try out SmartEQ3, please also go to group mode and try out group mode because um, I think this could be, or for a lot of people who are using it, this is probably the biggest time saver they have. I mean, that was just what you've done there is, I mean, I made a video on this when it first came out. I remember touching on this feature, but I mean, just this short, quick example you've given is, yeah, yes, <laughs> use this feature. I mean, yeah. my goodness. 
and, and the nice thing is also you can, let's say you, you load in, um, I don't know, five new instances, then they directly appear in this group mode and you can then select the profile for each instance from this window and you can also start learning for each instance from this window. So it's also extremely quickly to start a project from group mode. So, so I mean, almost like maybe save it as a default template in your DAW, um, drop your sure. stems in there. Boom! You can if I trig if I arm the mix or the learn feature there, it will learn all five of them at the same time in this spe uh, specific example, and then I can just start mixing right from there. Uh, exactly. What, do you have any other control over the individual ones in terms of strength or anything like that? Or um, you mean all of them? So so one is the is the group impact, which is just like how much is the group processing doing uh, on the mix, and the other one is the filter. So the filter is kind of the limiting factor. If I set this filter to zero and I go to group mode, then also group mode won't do anything. So the, the, the smart filter weight that's set in each individual plugin will also have an impact on where and how strongly does the group mode uh, have an impact on the filter curve. And that's why um, it's called smart, man. My goodness. <laughs>